So in this video, we are going to talk about the concept of Pythagorean triples. So a Pythagorean triple is a set of three positive integers, a, b, and c, such that they fulfill the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So they have to be integers, meaning basically your whole number since it's also positive. The Pythagorean triple that you are all aware of is the 3, 4, 5 triangle. So the two sides are the lengths of 3 and 4 with the hypotenuse of 5. So there are two other ones that you should um, always be aware of. One is the 5, 12, 13. And the last one is the 8, 15, and 17. So the reason why these Pythagorean triples are important is because it allows you to not have to do the Pythagorean theorem all the time. You can quickly see that it is basically a ratio of these numbers. Another thing is that standardized tests love Pythagorean triples, like to death. Um, especially the um, two more unknown ones, the 5, 12, 13, and the 8, 15, 17. So if you have those three in the back of your head and you take this ability that I'm about to show you, it will speed up the process of you being able to answer some of these questions. So some examples. So here I have um, a problem where it's asking me to find one of my sides of a right triangle. I know one side is 9 and the hypotenuse is 15. So straight off, you may not um, see that this is one of those Pythagorean triples. It's actually a ratio of one of those Pythagorean triples. So one thing I would suggest you do is anytime you have a problem like this, where you are given a right triangle and you're asked to find one of the sides, is to see if you have a common factor of the other two sides. So for instance, 9 and 15 both have a common factor of 3. So I'm going to rewrite that really quickly. So 15 is really 3 times 5, and 9 is really 3 times 3. So you can see that I have this common ratio of 3, and now I'm starting to see this pattern of a 3 blank 5 triangle. So I know that this is a 3, 4, Five triangle. Now the thing is, I just need to make sure I multiply by whatever the common ratio was. So this other side is simply going to be 12. So of course you can always go and do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You would have to go and square that 15, square the 9, subtract that 81 over to the other side, then take the square root of that, and you would still find the same answer of 12. But that's still typically a longer process where you have to actually bring out your calculator. So these Pythagorean triples are very important because you are capable of just seeing the ratio and then finding the pattern. So let's look at another problem. All right, so here again we have a right triangle, and um, I don't see one of those patterns right off the bat. I don't see it just clearly written in stone, but I do see a common factor between those two sides. So I see that 2 times something is 34, and 2 times something is 30, so I at least know they have a factor of 2 in common. So I'm going to rewrite these. So this is 2 times 17 and this one is 2 times 15. So again, I can see right off the bat that we have a common ratio of 2. And here we have a something 15-17 ratio going on. So I know that one. This is going to be in 8-15-17. So the only thing I need to do is just multiply by that common ratio of 2. So that means that this other side is just 16. So this is 16, 30, 34. 
So how about you guys try one? So you have a 2048 sides and X is your hypotenuse. So figure out what X is. So on this problem, you should have gotten your hypotenuse to be 52. This is a 5, 12, 13 triangle. 